This is the ProTill, a multi-purpose new tillage tool built by Dagelman Industries of Regina, Saskatchewan, who are known for making tough, well-designed equipment. Western Canadian sales manager Laird McLeod says this unit was designed to be a more advanced and efficient version of the tandem disc. We saw the marketplace needing uh, a machine that could, that, that could potentially do the work of a heavy-duty tandem disc that has traditionally managed heavy residue across Western Canada, uh, as well as leave it in a, in a, in a more seedbed prepared state. This pro-till is 40 feet wide and Diggleman also makes a 33-footer. They built the unit strong enough to handle the heavy going, but McLeod says it was important to focus the weight in all the right places. On our 40-foot machine, we've got just under 40,000 pounds concentrated uh, heavily over, over those discs and well-placed and well placed to be able to allow those discs to penetrate the ground in even the most driest and hardest conditions and to be able to slice through even the most toughest residue, uh, residue problems that, that a producer might face. Here we see the pro-till working in some corn residue. It's designed to evenly distribute residue from any crop in a single pass and leave a level, ideal seed bed for the next crop. A key to the efficiency of the pro-till system is working speeds which are much higher than most traditional tillage systems. This machine starts to work really well at about 8 miles an hour. Um, uh, optimum speed is probably between 10 and 11 and a half miles an hour with the capabilities of working in, in excess of 13 or 14 if horsepower allows. The shallow concave shape of the discs allow the pro-till to work much faster than traditional concave discs. The single arm and disc design greatly improves trash clearance compared to previous disking systems. The elimination of gang, uh, uh, gang shafts and bearings that have been you know, incorporated on traditional, most traditional discs in Western Canada were the limiting factor for trash clearance. Our single, our single arm design allows us to really get un unparalleled trash clearance like, like nothing Western Canada has seen before. In order to maximize the effectiveness of the arm and disc design, they put in a simple, user-friendly, heavy-duty automotive type bearing. It's a double roller design with, uh, with the double sealed inside and out. It's designed for, to, for the machine to be able to run at high speeds, under high load, and be able to last an extremely long time. It's also maintenance free as it's a sealed bearing and it requires no grease. In this slow motion footage, we see the pro-till disking in heavy corn residue. The unit is equipped with rubber torsion spring technology in the disc tripping system, which stands up well in tough field conditions and also aids in seed bed preparation. What those rubber torsion springs allows us to do is for those discs, as, as they come in contact with rocks, uh, to, to be able to de deflect and uh, to not cause any damage, um, um, you, know, you know, when occurring with rock. Uh, it also allows us to do a, a great job of contouring the ground and maintaining that disc contact to the ground after, after coming in contact with a stone. Adjusting the tillage depth on the pro-till is a simple matter of inserting or removing depth stop donuts. The machine is designed to work at a wide variety of depths depending on the conditions and the preferences of the farmer. Or on, on just in some cereal grains, if we just want to warm the ground up and, and, manage, and manage residue in front of the drill, then you know we're, this the pro is capable of of uh, being set at three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half, and just nicely scratching or or uh, or, or, or or lightly uh, uh, cultivating the soil, right right to going to four to five inches deep and in handling corn and hay and 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 forage grasses. There are a couple of different packing options available with the pro -till. One is the rubber wedge roller, which is fairly new to North America but it has covered a lot of acres overseas. That technology uh, was, was, you know, was developed in Europe and, uh, and has been proven for over 25 years. Uh, it works very, very well, especially for fall applications where we'd want to seal the ground up uh, uh, as best we can to preserve moisture. The other packing option is the roller cage style. This system is likely better known in these parts, but Dagelman has fine-tuned it for pro-till work. We've degelmanized it a little bit and built it a little bit heavier to withstand stones, uh, a little bit heavier than, than many of our competitors. But uh, uh, those, are, those are the two options, and I guess uh, it, 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 varies, uh, it varies on which one works better in which field conditions, depending on where you are in western Canada and what time of the year you're at.
McLeod says the unique design of the ProTill allows them to use an auto-fold system for going into transport, which is similar to traditional Harrow's except that it folds forward like the booms on a high-clearance sprayer. As opposed to folding back like, like traditional auto-fold systems do. It's, it's, it's very unique in that it is not a traditional uh, tri-fold uh, uh, folding system like traditional tillage units would be and it and allows us to uh, to concentrate the weight uh, uh, and, and focus that weight over on, to, on top of the disc to allow for maximum penetration in, 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 the, in, in most toughest conditions. Since the unit is built quite heavy, that extra weight keeps the unit stable and the rollers locked in the cradles in transport position. Flotation tires work well in transport and also maximize tillage performance in wet soil conditions. For driving from one field to another, the Pro-Till is about 20 feet wide and less than 13 feet high.